Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be going through a full installation of Hive OS. And so the first thing you want to do is go and register for an account on Hive OS. You can get there by going to hiveos.farm. Um, I'll include a referral link in the description down below. It doesn't cost you anything and uh, Hive OS will give you $10 for using that link and for supporting me. So uh, if you want to use it, go ahead. Uh, I appreciate it. If not, that's fine. But just make sure that you register for an account on Hive OS. And so once you have an account, you want to go to the install page, which is hiveos.farm slash install. And you want to scroll down until you see the GPU section and you want to download the latest Hive image. Alright, so once you have uh, the Hive OS image downloaded, you want to scroll down and you want to download the Lena Etcher. So if you right click on the link and hit open in the new tab, it'll take you to the site for Belina Etcher. And this is what you're going to use to write your SSD or hard drive, whatever you're using. So just uh, download whichever one you want. I'm going to download the portable version. If you see this error, just hit keep. Now, once you have both of them downloaded, the next thing you're gonna need to do is connect your hard drive, SSD, NVMe SSD, whatever you're using to your computer. Now you can connect it um, like a normal hard drive in a normal PC, or you can uh, buy an adapter. So I'm using an NVMe SSD, and I ordered this adapter, which is a NVMe to USB 3.2. And then if you're using a normal SATA SSD, you can also order a SATA to USB 3.0 adapter. And I'll leave these links in the description if you want to buy one, but you don't need one. Just, it makes everything a lot easier. All right, so now when you have your hard drive or SSD connected to your computer, all you need to do is uh, run Belina Etcher. Now from here, you wanna choose flash from file and you wanna choose the Hive OS image that you just downloaded. And then you want to choose select target. Now here you want to select the device that you want to flash. So for me, it's my Sabrent adapter and uh, it is a 250 gig NVMe SSD. So I'm going to choose that one. You just make sure you choose the right one. And once you select it, just uh, hit select and then you want to hit flash. Now you might get an error or a warning message when you click it like this. And basically this is just telling me that there is data on the hard drive. And if I'm sure this is the right drive that I wanted to install it on. And it's the only Sabrent drive I have. Well, it's not really a Sabrent drive, but the, the adapter is a Sabrent. So I'm gonna hit yes, I'm sure. And then now you just got to wait for it to completely finish. All 
All right, so now that it's finished, you can just close this. And now uh, there's one more thing that you want to do. And it is, if you're using one of these adapters, uh, you want to disconnect the device and then reconnect it. And as you can see, mine popped up at the bottom down there, Hive. Now, if yours did not do that, and if you open up your uh, folder browser and you go to this PC and you don't see Hive right here, what you have to do is type in um, disk and then go to this create, choose create and format hard disk partitions. Then you should see a uh, one of these that is your hive disk and it's not going to have a drive letter. So as you can see, mine has drive letter in. If you see it and it doesn't have a drive letter, all you have to do is right click it and hit change drive letter and paths. And then so I already have one, but then you would just hit add and then you would choose a letter that's not already in use and then you just hit OK and uh, it should show up after that. All right, so once you have your drive showing up on your computer, you want to go to your HiveOS account and sign in. And you should get to the dashboard and you're not going to have any farms like I do here. So what you want to do is on the top right, you'll see the little plus symbol. You want to click on that. Uh, you want to give your farm a name. So I'll use YouTube in this example. And then you can set your time zone and then just hit save. It should redirect you into that farm. And then now what we need to do is add an, a, a new rig. So you just hit add rig and you want to choose connect existing. Then from here, you just got to go to the settings on the top and you want to click on rig.config and it will download the config file to your computer. And so what you do with this file is you need to put it on the drive where Hive OS is installed. Um, and so mine is on my drive in, whatever drive letter you picked, uh, that's, when, that's what it should be. So you just drag and drop it into your device and I have to rename it because the name is wrong. It's just supposed to be rig.config. Now all you got to do is put the hard drive or SSD into your rig and then uh, start it up. So let me go do that and I'll be right back. All right, so once your um, rig is turned on, you want to go to the overview tab on the dashboard. And your um, graphics cards should start showing up. If they don't, just refresh it a few times until it, it uh, does show up. Now, the first thing that I recommend anybody that just installed HiveOS do is remote into your rig and change your passwords. So the uh, easiest way to do that for me is on the top the menu bar, look for remote access and then click on it. And you wanna open up um, shell in a box. Now, this is remoting into your rig and so the default uh, credentials are user and then the password is the number one and so the command to change your password is hive dash pass WD space and then you type in the password so for this example I'll just change my password to something simple so I'll just use one, two, three, four, five, and then hit enter. And it should 
respond with uh, the password being changed. And then you also want to change the default password um, for user. So if you type in pass WD space user, it's gonna ask you for the new password. I'm just gonna use the same thing for this example, one, two, three, four, five, and then it'll add, tell you to retype it. So I'll use the same one, one, two, three, four, five. And that's how you change the passwords, which you should do every single time you uh, install HiveOS. Just make sure you use a, a really good one and not a easy password like I just used. Um, and so the next thing that we can do is just update HiveOS to the latest version. And to do that, you want to type in self upgrade and then hit enter. Now you just got to wait until it downloads everything and, and then does the installation. Now all that's left is to set up your flight sheet and do your overclocks. But before you can do any of that, you have to set up a wallet. So you wanna click on uh, your farm name, mine's is YouTube, and then you wanna choose wallets and you wanna hit uh, add wallet. I'm gonna be using uh, ETH address and I'm gonna name it just ETH wallet. So just make sure whatever coin you're using, you have the right uh, wallet address. And then you can go just click on workers, go back to your rig. And uh, before I do the flight sheet, I'm going to set the overclocks on my uh, rig. So let me add those in really quick. For my AMD cards, I'm just going to set the fan speed. I'll set the overclocks uh, later. So after you have your overclock set, now we just need to create a flight sheet. And a flight sheet is basically how you tell your miner, or not your miner, how you tell your rig what uh, miner you want to be running. Now, so if you click flight sheets, it's going to tell you um, you need to make one, basically. So. Uh, just click on go to list and then it'll take you to your uh, farm flight sheets And so just hit add a flight sheet and now for me, I'm going to be using ETH I'm going to use the wallet that I just made the pool. I'm going to be using Ethermine uh, And I like to use the SSL URL. So just toggle this little button. I'm closer to the US West and I'll use US East as a backup. Just hit apply. And then I'm gonna select the miner. I'm gonna use NB miner for now. And I'm just gonna give it a name. I'm gonna name it ETH NB miner. Now just hit create flight sheet and it should create it. Now we can go back to workers to our rig and then go to the flight sheets tab and you want to click this little rocket ship which applies the flight sheet and you just hit apply and so now my rig is starting the process to mine so if you want to see the miner and anything that it's doing on your remote in tab which you can type in is m o t d space watch and what that stands for is message of the day and basically whatever's running on your rig, you will be able to watch it from here. So as you can see, my number one is in me minor. Number two is system log and then nine auto fan zeros agent. And uh, that's basically it. So thanks for watching my video. Hopefully it helped you out. Feel free to like and subscribe and leave any comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next one.